Hey guys, so I just wanted to address something that came up in a YouTube question recently, and that was uh, PHP again. The uh, guy was really surprised about how popular PHP was. So let me just dispel a couple of myths about PHP. And I'm no PHP fanboy. If you watch my blogs, you know that I'm pretty much programming language agnostic. So I mean, I don't particularly care about one language over the other. To me, they're just tools, right? They're tools to use to build your apps or to automate your processes. Anyhow, here are a couple of misconceptions. First of all, we are in the year 2016, fast approaching year 2017. We are in PHP 7 now, PHP 7. And the perception by a lot of people out there is that PHP is still in version 4, which takes us back to 2003. Many, 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 many things have changed with PHP since PHP 4. It is today, PHP is today, a very, very modern language. It has all of the facilities, it has all of the capabilities of other languages like C Sharp, uh, Python, Ruby, etc., etc. With one caveat, like all other languages, PHP has its specializations, the thing that it does best. So if you're looking at Python, for instance, it's a much more flexible language in terms of its use cases. Python is used in robotics, it's used in AI, it's used in web app development, it's used in science, in science in, uh, it's used all over the place. Uh, whereas PHP, really, it's just used in web app development, but it is the most easily approachable language for web app development. It is super performant at runtime. It runs circles around Python and Ruby when your PHP code is actually running. PHP has several frameworks to choose from in terms of web app frameworks. You got Laravel, you got Zend and Symfony, there's many others. So when it comes to web development, PHP is the king. It is the king. And if you're going to be into freelance web development, you're going to find there's much, much more work being a PHP developer. Maybe you throw in some WordPress in there, or some Joomla or some Drupal, and you really open up a lot of avenues in terms of uh, money making. So again, there is this uh, notion out there that somehow PHP today is what PHP was 10, 12 years ago. It's not. PHP today is very modern. It has all of the major capabilities of the modern languages like Python, like C Sharp, like Java, like Ruby. So don't worry about it. So if you're looking to be a freelancer, you're looking to do that kind of work, then I would strongly suggest PHP. But here's the great thing. If you invest in learning PHP and you get into PHP, an object-oriented program with PHP, and then you get into a framework with PHP like Laravel, for example, and you decide six months, a year from now, whatever, two years from now, five years from now, whatever, that it's not for you want to try something new, you want to jump into maybe Python, it's not going to be a big deal because the vast majority of the concepts and the techniques that you're going to learn in PHP they're 100% applicable to many other programming languages, including Python, Ruby, Java, C Sharp, and others. So it's not like you're wasting your time, right? It's like if you learn how to drive a BMW and you decide a couple years you want to get a Porsche or you want to get uh, an Audi or whatever, you want to get another type of car, it's not like you're going to uh, lose in all your driving experience. That driving experience is applicable to any type of vehicle that you drive. Same thing with programming. So don't sweat it too much, right? Don't sweat it too much. So uh, there you go. Remember the misconception, new PHP, PHP 7, or well, 7.1 now I believe. PHP 7.1, it is not PHP 4. Many things have changed. PHP 7 is very modern has everything that you want in an object-oriented language. It has all the frameworks. It has all the built-in capabilities. 
And one big added benefit, well, two big added benefits to PHP. Once again, it is super fast. It is far more performant at runtime than Ruby, than Python. And number two, it's very easy to learn, very easy to get up and running quickly with PHP. That's probably one of the main reasons why it's so popular out there. It dominates. PHP dominates the web development space in terms of web, individual websites. A huge number of dynamic websites are powered by PHP. Most of them small, but you have big ones like Facebook. Just, you know, just as an example. So if people tell you PHP is old garbage, a toy language, they don't know what they're talking about. They still think it's the year 2000. They're caught in a time warp. All right, I'm off to get my coffee. Ciao, guys.